Hi everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back to our channel. If it's your first time here, we are a smart tra small travel agency that tries to get you the best information so that you can make great decisions on taking your next cruise vacation. We specialize in group cruises and uh, booking any kind of cruise adventures. Uh, as everyone can see today, I'm wearing my uh, NCL Pearl shirt. So we got a lot of feedback on our <laughs> worst cruise effort video. Man, people are rough. Uh, we got comments that were terrible travel agents because we complained uh, that we're stupid for not knowing that the weather was going to be bad going from Boston to Bermuda, that uh, all we did was complain. YouTube's a fun place. Um, so I just want to put it out on the record. We did a couple of videos. I think people only saw the one video I did when we, when we first got back. Um, and I want to really point out that we're not complaining. Um, you know, any vacation's a great vacation, right? So what we wanted to do with that video, and I guess we got the point across, but the goal for us was really to let people know that the cruise itself was amazing. The people were amazing on the cruise. We said that in our dining, we said it in that video a million times. The staff was great for the most part. All of the room stewards, all the people we dealt with on the cruise ship were great. Um, the food was great. Right? So we didn't have a bad time on the cruise. The beginning was terrible because of the port. The ending was terrible because of the port. Again, neither one of those things Norwegian's fault. They just had, had poor communication uh, amongst everyone there, which made it a bad experience. Um, and then we had some issues with the entertainment and the communication on board about the entertainment and about the storm. There, uh, I got so many comments of people saying like, you should know in the Atlantic, it's always stormy. It's not always stormy in the Atlantic. Otherwise they would never cruise. People would never cruise from New York or from Boston or to Canada or anywhere, right? There are certainly storms. There are times when the Atlantic is choppy, especially down by the Cape, um, down there. We know that we've been on a ton of cruises. I generally leave out of New York and New Jersey. Again, I stated it probably a million times. I've been on 30 cruises. I've only been seasick two or three days. Um, and this cruise was one of those times. And it wasn't about the storm. Storms absolutely happen. Um, and yeah, there are times of the year or times when it's unavoidable. There's nothing you can do about it. Our issue was never with the storm. It was that usually on every cruise I've ever been on, no matter what's going on, the captain comes on every day and says, here's where we're at, here's what's going on. I was on Norwegian Bliss in December of 2019. We were going to hit a big storm. The captain came on the day before and said, just wanted to let everybody know, we are going to try to do this and this and this to avoid the storm. We have a couple options. We can slow down and we might get hit a little harder, but we'll make our port or we can speed up and it might be rough for six or seven hours and then we're going to skip a port to uh, or the opposite whatever it is and he chose to skip the port uh, but we got that information and everybody was on the same page and everybody was fine we figured it out people that were sensitive to seasickness took med medication ahead of time um, which is the key if you're seasick to take medicine ahead of time so um, we're not complaining we're blessed that we get to go on cruises all the time but our goal here is always to be honest and always to let you know here were the great parts here were the not so great parts 99.9% .9 of my experiences on all travel vacations are amazing. You're on vacation. It's great. But there are things that are spectacular that we will point out. As I pointed out a million times, we were on Escape uh, last December. and Again, Norwegian. Choir of Man was on that ship. It's the best show I've ever seen on a cruise ship. So we're going to point those things out. Le Bistro, my favorite restaurant on any cruise ship so far. Um, we're going to point those things out. And then when something's not handled well, it's our responsibility as travel agents to point out when something doesn't go well. I had a really rough week this week with Norwegian booking some things. Um, that's That doesn't mean I'm not going to book Norwegian, but I'm going to tell people, like, sometimes we experience issues with this. If it's a group and we're trying to do this or we're trying to do that, it's just, we're just being honest. And our goal here is to inform you, hey, maybe you don't want to do Bermuda in April from Boston. Right. If you have sensitivity um, to that. And again, it's also like a learning experience for everyone involved. Like the cruise line could have communicated better. Um, maybe we could have been more prepared. Right. For for what we were going up against. Maybe we should have realized that it was their first cruise back and it was going to be really bumpy. We didn't know that. 
and, and we'll take responsibility always for that. I watched a funny video um, from Tony from La Liga Look. We have Tony's mug back there, right? So we watch Tony every day. So Tony gave some complaints about the wonder of the seas, how it wasn't ready on his first sailing, and he got a lot of crap for it. So, again, our goal here is just to be honest. We're going to be honest. Um, I got a lot of comments saying, if you don't like Norwegian, then don't sail on them again. Or you people don't seem like you're fun anyway. Um, it's hilarious. YouTube's hilarious. So I assure you that we can be fun and we do enjoy ourselves. Otherwise, we wouldn't go on cruises all the time. We're going on a cruise on May 1st. We're going on Oasis of the Seas. Um, we're leaving out in New Jersey, so there might be some storms, people. We'll let you know. Um, but uh, Royal Caribbean has a great meteorologist, James Van Fleet, who's on Twitter, who posts every day and lets everybody know what's going on with all the different cruise ships, and he works closely with the captain. So um, here's some things that are coming up for us. We will put that, all of those videos, we're going to have a ton of video. We have a lot of people from our team going on that cruise. So we're going to do a lot of different videos. We will do a ship tour. We'll do different room tours inside, outside, different levels of balconies, Central Park balcony, boardwalk balconies, uh, suites, crown loft suites, a bunch of different rooms we'll do tours for. Um, every day we're going to do a bite-sized bites video of all the different food on the ship, which I'm assuming is going to be amazing. Um, and we'll do some vlogs every day and let you know how everything is on the ship. If you have any questions, you want more information, please feel free to reach out to us. My email is jp at bite -size cruises. You can be mean. It's fine. You can make mean comments below. It's okay. We're just trying to provide great information. We'll go back and forth with you and talk to you. So hope everybody has a great day. Look forward to the Oasis of the Seas coming up next week. And if anybody wants us to do something particular on the ship or if you want to see something, particularly on the ship, we will do that. And we will also be doing our sail away video um, with our uh, lava flows with Shot of Kraken, which is recommended always by Matt Hatchberg at uh, Royal Caribbean Blog. So thanks again, everybody. And we will see you next week from Oasis of the Seas. Have a great week.